Yeah. So some people would have been involved when we were using different platforms, but this has been this has been the platform for a while. It's Mighty Networks platform. It's not it's not perfect. It's not complete. They're still they're still adding stuff to it, but it's it's it's. I find it pretty cool. Mm. Um, and so what you're seeing here is m my account, obviously. So you won't necessarily see uh, the same things that I see because I'm I've got access to all the different channels and courses and things. So my feed will will have a lot more stuff in it than 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 everybody else's. But generally, the the it should be organised in a time manner. So the most recent activity will be near the top, um, and you should get notifications of what anything that's relevant to you. Um, sorry, I dropped off. I couldn't hear what was going on at the start. Sorry. On this, I don't know if you said it already. In my, can you hear me? By the way, yeah. Okay. Yep. In, when I look at my feed, um, it's always redefaulting to personalized feed. Mm -hmm. I keep changing it to I just want to see all. Um, I don't want the personalized thing, and I put everything, and it's, it defaults back to personal feed every single time. I don't know whether there's a way. I, I haven't found any settings for it. So you have to do that every time, do you? It's a bit annoying. Yeah, so I don't... I, you know, sometimes I don't bother. Um, but it's the same with, so I was, I was making these notes about the platform when I was, you know, I'm doing that course, um, self-mastery course. So as I was making notes, I started dividing it into kind of platform feedback. And all. But since we're doing this, I thought maybe I'll bring it up here. There's another thing about the notifications. If you set it that you want to be notified about everything, I don't seem to, so if it's a new post by somebody, then I do get the notification. Mm -hmm. now but i don't get notification for every answer to a post for example right. um not that i want to but at the start i think i just wanted to make sure um that maybe i didn't miss out if people answer like for example if you post something an article or and then people start replying to it right. i don't get those notifications i don't know whether i'm not meant to get them all. so i think well, i don't know this for a fact but i think you would get notified if you had um, also interacted with that post so if you yeah. did it or you'd put it in there then I think you would get notified of, of change yeah which is what I, I noticed it's sort of kind of automatically following the post I guess then yeah. you get notified I wonder whether there was a way of getting there before anyone posts so then you get notified of the first I'm asking difficult questions aren't I just <laughs> this is good this is the kind of stuff I might don't necessarily know the answers to but either I can find out uh, or we can experiment with. So the other thing is saved posts. Yeah, we have been can, using that recently. Yeah, yeah, where you can save a post and then you can go back to those ones that you're interested in and maybe check. But um, yeah. I, I, as a host, you get access to a different community where you can ask questions. So I can take these questions to the to the host community and, and oh, get. That'd be good. Is so I started using save post to do exactly that. Where I'm like, I haven't got time to read it now. Um, but the notification has come up and I've read it. So now the notification is marked as red. Yep. Um, can I mark it unread? Because I've got this habit of going and leaving it unread. So the only way I thought of is saving the post and then going back to it later, maybe unsaving it or whatnot when I finish with it. Yeah, there's no way of marking it as unread, I don't think. No, okay. That's fair enough. Might be, so save post is a good yeah. tactic. And the other thing is potentially just try liking it so putting the putting the little um you know, heart next to it yeah it, you might get those notifications as well when there's a change okay uh, but i'll check up on that one uh what else what else around the the, the platform i think if i can say so i think you know jeff you and i spoke uh, you know um a few months back and I, i'd sort of raised a sort of bit of you know, a, a comment or frustration about the app and uh, and the platform, and I think through uh, literally sort of pun intended, but you said, "Oh, check the discovery view," mm -hmm. and uh, I was saying like the feed is quite, you know, can potentially move quite quickly, and the content therefore disappears. In my mind, the content was hard to kind of have that that Google view on, and um, and then but this discovery tab that obviously you're showing now just feels far more natural to me in terms of the breadth of content, the members you see here. Um, I, I use that as my sort of landing page effectively because it just mm -hmm. it's just so much more rich than a feed. Yeah. Um, but of course in the app, a feed is 
it's preferable because you obviously want to you'd probably be on a mobile um but yeah certainly on a pc i, I land i try and land uh, discover on the discovery page so um because yeah. it, a wealth of stuff is then going on and more visible mm -hmm. so. So I'm not sure how, how it ranks top posts, whether that's through numbers of interactions or most recent interactions, I presume it's through number of interactions. Because yeah. A while ago that one, wasn't it? But they were, uh, uh, Maybe it's a coefficient between views and comments and interaction. No, it takes you to the other one similar, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, I haven't really used the Discovery tab as much as I should, actually, now that, now that you've mentioned it. Um, anything else? Yes, sir. Well, how, how, yeah. how could this be easier for you? Yeah, because, I mean, maybe we, having used a lot of other communities, maybe not from IT networks, but I'm just used to the, the mental, mentally used to the, having the different channels and then, you know, if I'm interested in a certain channel to go into that channel and you know, see the post for that. So I don't know how that would be. Is, is it like, uh, I think I see it already as topics. Yeah. And that's how you would, okay. Yeah. Of course, yes. So if you've been involved in another mighty network, then you could have, we can, I can choose what I call these things. So I call them topics. I could have called them anything. Mm -hmm. Some other people might call them channels. Okay. I use channels for the different, um, sort of sub parts of the community that I have. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm interested in you know, influencing leadership, then you can see all the things that are tagged with that, uh, with that tag. Um, and part of the idea of the monthly theme was to try and provide a sense of you know, a little bit of a focus mm. um, yeah, in areas. Um, car, it's not that easy to be able to search by um, other things with the with the topic, but actually the search button up here. Uh, what should we put in? The search button up here is pretty good. So you see topics, you see courses, you see articles, you see posts, events, all that are focused on a particular word or tag. So search engine is actually yeah. pretty good. Uh, so you see a lot of stuff in here just by putting in the word change, podcasts, all sorts of things. Uh, so I'd encourage people to, to use that. Yeah, so posting, you should be able to do any kind of post that I can post. So it could be a quick post or an article. Mm -hmm. So Ava posted an article earlier on, I think. Uh, or did she put it as, yeah, she posted it as an article. Um, so you're more than welcome to put those. You have all the power and control to do this. Mm. You can post the the question type um, limits the character that you can uh, add, right? That's true. Yeah. So there are different types of questions that you can ask, but it is a short form question rather than a big long post. That's if you want to re receive answers. Mm. Um, but you could you could put a question in as a short post. There's nothing no nothing stopping you from doing that. Putting a question in here, and the, the answers would just be in the comments field. Hmm. If you wanted to get a feel for how many people or what proportion of people think this. <clears throat> okay, that's good to know. Did you have a particular question that you were thinking of asking? God, I've asked so many. I'm trying to be quieter on this. <laughs> you know, Jeff, I'm constantly asking questions. But, but um, so the questions that you're asking are, are sort of situational, right? Yeah, yeah, generally. So I might ask a question and then expand on it in a, a reply to yeah. my own question like in terms of giving background to it so I've, I've done a lot of I've seen others do it that way so keep the question short the kind of comes up is a bit more it's more visual isn't it because it's bigger and we're not yeah easier That's to kind of go yeah create an image with the question in it and use that as the header image for the for the post oh wow and I haven't got as far as I'm normally just on my phone with a thumb so <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really good, but I don't want to just actually a long list of like things I don't like. I really like this platform. Um, on on my phone, it's brilliant, mm -hmm. and on desktop, it's brilliant. On tablet, I don't think it's a very responsive. Um, I it, on tablet, actually. Yeah, it's really strange. It does um, a split view, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you can actually scroll down and read a whole article. I need to send you some screenshots or something. 
because I found that was using the courses I tend to do that at night on on my tablet because I'm not on my laptop and a phone is too small to do that kind of thing so I use my tablet and it just doesn't seem to be as responsive um, but I think it's generally really easy to use um, and just intuitive um, the syncing as well you might want to raise I don't know whether how that works but the syncing between yeah the mobile app and uh, and the desktop so at times I have notifications on my phone I may not read them or I may read them and then I go on the desktop and they're still kind of marked as I'm read and it takes a while and that doesn't bother me so much but when I was doing the course that sometimes it would happen with video so I'll start watching a video and if I stop like halfway through yeah. if I pick it up on the same device then it will make me con let me continue from where I left off last time but if I switch devices sometimes and not all the time so it's one of those is like um, sporadic issues it will start from the start that's frustrating and that's um yeah but yeah it doesn't happen all the time so that's one of those you can't probably raise with anyone <laughs> if it doesn't happen consistently well, yeah if there is a, if there's a if there's a pattern is it when you're going from tablet to desktop is it when you go from desktop to tablet for example that, that uh, i'll test it for you yeah i'll let you know okay cool I also noticed that if I go to the link using, you know, the agile mastery dot MN dot co, yeah. I cannot switch between my net, mighty network. So if uh, I go with the mighty networks link, then it, it gives me an option to switch between the, the, the networks that I'm part of. But right now when I'm there with the link that you, the direct link, I yeah. don't get an option to, to switch to other networks. Um, on the on the on the mobile phone uh, app, it's it's there by default, but yeah, much easier. Yeah. So, so okay, yeah. I can switch. I can switch to any of my networks really, really easily. There, like you're saying, yes, right? Yeah. Can't do it necessarily in the in the desktop. So if you if you follow someone mm -hmm. and you have so is that a different notification set i can't remember like you want to only be notified of people you follow i think yes all right yeah is that the only thing it does following someone uh, i think it should be a notification thing yeah it might it might bring them further up in your member list as well so they're easier to find right um yeah, there's, there's activity from members you follow as a right, yeah. as well. I mean, I'm hoping that other people will, like like Ava today, just just start posting. Um, the yeah. if if we can get past the uh, the logistical challenges, then we can deal perhaps a little bit more with the the psychological challenges. So I was speaking to another member earlier today, who was. Uh, saying they, they really want to start posting but they're a little bit worried they're going to look silly and that was probably one of the bigger um, pieces of feedback about mm. lack of engagement is worried about people what, what they think um, I was talking about how you know, what, what are the assumptions behind there what's the evidence behind there have they seen anything here that would in, you know, indicate that's likely to happen how could they test that assumption by posting something small something safe uh, and seeing what response they get um, mm. I think there's the other piece of feedback that we have is I, I want to see other people post. You know, it's, yeah, hey, your stuff's nice, Jeff, but you know, I want to hear from other people mm -hmm. as well. Um, and someone's got to start that off, right? So yeah. it's nice to see Ava, Ava post this morning. And that, I think that would just encourage a lot more, uh, a lot more thing. And I've, you know, I've gone on record as saying if, if I notice anything that's disrespectful, I'll, I'll, I'll jump on it straight away because that's not what we want. We can have differences of opinion. We can challenge. We can share different truths as long as it's respectful. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to prove that to ourselves mm -hmm. until we, we take a bit of a bit of a gamble. Yeah. Um, chat. Yeah, I think that's, that's that's a good option. I know people do chat through this. Obviously, you have your own chat facilities as well. Um, yeah, this is the thing I was, I was saying with the 
with the feedback. He's like, I, I'm hearing people would like to know how to use this platform better, um, but I don't know how. I don't know how to. <laughs> if I could find that out, I would. I would do so. So I've, I've got. We need. We need to figure it out together. So. Um... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a community, not uh, not an, an individual effort, is it? So yeah. So I've got four things here that I'm going to try and find out from the people that run Mighty Networks. Can we change the feed on a permanent basis? I'm having to do it every time. Is there a way of being notified on all comments on a post? Something to do with the tablet view. Um, is there an issue there? And then being able to switch networks from the desktop. Yeah. Um, and I will I'll report back. Okay. Thanks, That's sir. brilliant. Okay. Anything else? No. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Nice to see you all. No worries. Take care. Cheers. Thank, Cheers. You. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.